Good afternoon. This is Sunday, May the 1st. We've just been having a nice relaxing day. Larry built a frame around the pepper plant to, to support it. We were just out walking around in the yard looking for eggs. We only got one egg today, so we think they're hiding, laying them someplace else, and we were, haven't found any. But there's a baby bird down there, one or two, maybe a wren. Now he was sitting here in the swing the other day, and he saw this hummingbird nest. I think it's made out of lichen. But he said it was a little tiny bird flew into it. Today is Tuesday, and I took a pot roast out on Saturday to thaw to have for Sunday, and it didn't get thawed in time, so I put it in the crock pot last night. So. We're going to have some good eating today. There's onions, potatoes, carrots. I didn't have any celery, so I used celery flakes and seeds. It smelled so good when I got up this morning. I talked to my sister Betty every evening, and while I was talking to her tonight, Larry got out a recipe and all the ingredients for peanut butter cookies. I thought that was a pretty good hint. So. There they are. They he had cookies and coffee. I had cookies and milk. It's pretty good. Here we are back at the doctor's waiting for the doctor to come in. This is for his medicine that he took him off of the cholesterol because of the cramps he was having. This is Wednesday the 4th of May. Happy birthday, Reba. And we pulled our carrot crop. These are the ones that were transplanted out of the raised bed. They're supposed to grow short like that. That's the type they are. Larry's new garden cart came today in many pieces. And we're about to get it together. we still got two more wheels to put on. There's the other wheel and the handle. Got to put the seat on yet. Put the motor on next week. Hey, <laughs> you got to have a motor on it and go putting through the garden. Of course. We got a little, two, there's two, that's for carrying stuff, there's two baskets for that. We got those on and we got the steering mechanism on. Now he's just tightening those. This is the instructions that came with it. It's just a diagram. And with all the letters for all the bolts and everything, so that's how we did it. Putting on another wheel. One more to go. That's the final bit, putting on the handle. Got the seat on and the rest of the wheels. I like that green color. These big wheels will make it easier for Larry to move through the garden when he's picking beans. I have to get the seat adjusted to the right height for him. to get better pretty easy. Just took time. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd come out this morning. My rose that smells so good is blooming. Some of those have been open or starting to fade. Uh, moving closer, the, the buds are where they're pretty. This one's not open yet. This one's open more. But they just smell so good. Mmm, smell like a rose is supposed to. The moss rose I transplanted is growing. And I really like the color of these Gerber daisies. I'd like to grow more of them. Barbara came over and played cards. It was fun. It was about 90 degrees today, so we're having a light supper. There's lettuce, tomato, onion, 
cheese and chicken in there and dressing. We're supposed to have thunderstorms tonight and rain and everything and it did rain. There's there's water on the pool now. At least it's damp. It's not it was dry. But there's nothing to measure on the gauge. We're hoping we get some more later because we really need it. This is Friday evening. I'll show you what I did this morning. And the amaryllis that where there was several bulbs, I dug them up, divided them, and replanted. Oops, I missed one there, I think. Wait a minute. I did, I missed one. I'll have to come back and get that in the morning. I planted that one back there. And I just added this one right here. There's five here. It came off of one bulb. So next year that should be pretty all filled in with the red amaryllis. I planted uh, three more right here on this corner. There are two more here on this corner. My pretty white one is blooming. I really like it. That one Cheryl got me from Christmas one year. My columbine have already bloomed. They're going to seed. That's okay. I'll make more. They're kind of spreading in here a little bit. That's what I wanted. Flocks are spreading too. And the lantana came back. All the uh, amaryllis that I transplanted are this red color. So it's going to really be bright and pretty either next spring or the year after. I'm happy. I filled the uh, tub under the fountain and plugged it in and it's working. Got a nice spray coming out of there. And last year it was orange and it's faded and now it's yellow. Still goes with marigolds. When all those marigolds bloom, it will be pretty. They're growing. My uh, bleeding heart and lily of the valley that Matt gave me are done blooming. So I picked the last bit of it and brought it in the house to enjoy. The lily of the valley makes its little bells. And then the bleeding hearts look like hearts that are bleeding. We're having a chef salad for lunch today. We've got our English peas in it that we grew and some of our cherry tomato. This is Sunday, May the 8th, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. It's Sunday morning and we're on our way to church. Well, we're on our way to Sunday school. We're going to leave after Sunday school to go to a picnic. We're getting ready for lunch. Okay. It's a different one? Sprite there. I have a knife. Oh, my fingers are strong enough to look this one. All the salads. I guess you're supposed to put it in the dessert. Will it rip? No. I can't. No. Here's all the women working. <laughs> There's the mini. Yeah, we got the boat here. It's gonna go in the water.
heading so far. Any water coming in? Not yet. That wide open? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, wide not around. Yeah. Well, there it floats. <laughs> There's a leak. There's a leak. There's no leak. That's all I care about. Yeah, putting Bentley in the boat. Oh, there goes Emma in. They got their life jackets in there. Michael's magnet fishing. Well, now I can see. <laughs> when we were out there on the water, I couldn't see a thing. I don't know what I got. The glare. <laughs> Turn you into a pretty butterfly. <laughs> or an ugly moth. Or <laughs> He's got to cheer for a winning team, not the opposite. He's <laughs> winning first. I know, they each got one in, so... Win or lose, you cheer, you cheer for your team. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We, I'm, I'm going to end up having to pick up one more How many is that now? We had two last year, we're about out. Oh, we had two last year, we're about out. The hunt season. Oh, you were out. It's a freezer. Yeah, my That's how I get all my chest freezer. I mean, it's off. It's Mother's Day, and there's David. He's the reason, the first reason I'm a mother. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. We're having a good day. I'm here at Betty's. We've been outside, planted three azaleas, two banana trees, and some Cosmos flower seed. But it's so dry, we don't know if anything's going to live. Her, her ground is just sand, so water goes right through it. Look what Larry did while I was at Betty's. He got my birthday present. He got a truckload of mulch and mulched this whole flower bed. It looks so good.
No white plastic showing anywhere. He did it all in one afternoon. Went and got it and put it all down. That's a lot of work. He's got it nice and deep too and covered up the drip hose. Very, very nice. I'm going to get a knife and cut that dead amaryllis. This is our swing that we put the plywood on so we'd have a swing for the porch here. I'm going to show it to you with the cushions. And see, so I just took the one we had and cut it in half. Or cut it where it was seamed. And there it is with the back cushion on it. Not quite as big. But the, the cheapest cushion I could find online was about $33, $34 for one. And they went on up to like $65 and it takes two. So that's how come I decided on this. And this is just as pretty as the ones I was looking at. Maybe even a little prettier. We're on our way to Charleston. I'm gonna go check on my house. There's a truck in front of us burning a lot of oil. Kind of a blue cloud. It's 9.25 and we're here, ready to go to work. It's 10.30 and we're done. We got the gutters cleaned and Larry cut some vines out of the shrubs a little bit. And we got the covers off the foundation vents. But she's got flowers growing. There wasn't too much up there. Tomatoes. But she's got it fixed up nice. And some lights. So we're done for now. It's Wednesday evening and we're here for the monthly business meeting here at church. <laughs> but Happy my... birthday, Laura. Thank you. We just came out here to celebrate. You want to do that clapping? <laughs> they brought Happy my... Birthday. Yeah, they sang to me. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> this is Jane on the right and Judy on the left. Best friends forever. <laughs> yes, yes. It's Thursday evening and we picked green beans. Pick the ones in the garden and one in the greenhouse. There they are. We had this basket full and we've got these saved to have for Chinese and these are the ones we got snapped. So we're going to be done here after a while but we're going to have some green beans to can. we got good help. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> when we're cleaning green beans it's always good when you get to you see the bottom of the basket for the first time it means you're almost done i got my green beans ready to can there's i think there's seven on the bottom and five on top so i got 12. it's nice to be able to pick them in the garden and can them the same day this is still um, thursday i don't know if you can hear it it's raining just a little bit we need it so badly i hope it rains all night I'm back here at the doctor's office. They wouldn't renew my prescription without me coming in to see the doctor, so here I am. This is still Friday the 13th, and while I was at Betty's this afternoon, she got a lot of rain, and when I came home, Larry said it had rained here. Yay! Now this shows all the rain we got. We got about three-fourths of an inch. Okay, we're cleaning carrots today. Our 12 pints of green beans came out so good, we decided to go ahead and do the carrots. These are the ones we pulled a while back, so we're, we can't eat them all, so we decided to go ahead and can them. And then there's some Larry pulled today over in a basket. But this is Saturday and we didn't have anything to do, so why not can carrots? <laughs> Carrots are all done and they're all sealed. I wanted to tell you how Jane and Judy and I met. Um, I moved to South Carolina from Ohio in October of 1992. And I think I met Jane and Judy in the spring of 93. We went to the same church 
and we were in a ladies' Sunday school class, and it was just a small class, so we got to know each other pretty well, and we've been friends ever since. It's hard to believe that it's been 29 years. These are all volunteer moss rose that came up, and they're starting to bloom. We found they found where the chickens were laying their eggs. This is the sawtooth oak back here by the garden in the swing. It was hard to find, but behind that metal and the base of the tree, there's a nest right there, and that's where they've been laying their eggs. Larry left them in the coop this morning, and they laid in the coop where they were supposed to. We're out here in the garden. Larry's sitting on his new cart. He's picking a bean. But he can just um, sit there and get them. You got more there? Yeah. Oh, you want them? Yeah. There's another one. Just like we picked the other day. I think you're All ready. the way up through there. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some nice ones there. I'm going to be canning beans again. I'll give you an idea of how much the corn has grown. It's above Larry's head now. Yeah. Sweet corn. Mm-hmm, sweet corn. It's supposed to be. It's peaches and cream. Yeah. And see, it's, it's getting ears. It's tasseled. It's getting ears. It's getting ears. Oh, I see. My point, okay. Let me see. Right there, it's getting an ear. Yeah. So, we'll be having corn. This rain really needed it. Larry and his corn. While we were here in the garden, we went ahead and picked uh, three squash. Hi, Henrietta. There's Ethel. And there goes Lucy. The few peaches that we had on our tree all dropped off, so there won't be any peaches this year. I don't know if it was too dry or what was wrong, but they're not there anymore. There's more of the cherry tomatoes getting ripe. There's more down here. We got some in the house to have with salads. You can see the watermelon are spreading out. Hope to have a good crop. And the cantaloupe down there on the end, on the left, they're growing too. Now he's pulling rutabaga to take to some friends in the morning. There's my miniature rose blooming. And the flowers that Bonnie gave me. And over there's the flowers Betty gave me. Chickens are interested in what Larry's doing. Cutting the roots and dirt off. You take a picture of it? There's the first rutabaga. There's the chickens waiting for the top. It's like having dessert. Candy bars. Lucy has the clipped wings and the short tail. Larry put mulch around the pecan tree. So it's getting taller all the time. Maybe someday we'll have a pecan from it. But it looks nice with the mulch around it. 
And he's got mulch around the olive tree too here. The bird box here on the side of Cabana has bluebirds in it. You see them flying in and out all the time. The flowers here are pretty. They're right below the bird bath. They got filled up from the rain. We had to keep the broccoli underneath the cover because the uh, bugs are getting pretty bad this time of the year. And it keeps it a little bit cooler. And she's wanting to pick a head. She likes uh, broccoli salad. I, I like it pretty good, but not as much as her. Should I pick one or two? Whatever you want. It will take two to make a... I'm going to cut this and show you. It's going to take two to make a head because it's late in the season. They're not, uh, they're just about played out with this warm weather. You put these in the basket. We're back here at our shallow well. There hasn't been anything else done on it. We got to thinking, if we beat it down in the ground and get about, you know, 10 or 12 foot down and we can't do it anymore, then what? So we're going to try and get it out of here. And we ordered an auger so we can use the auger to dig the hole and then put the pipe in instead of beating it in. So we're going to try and get that pipe out of there. It took us some grunting and groaning but we got it pulled out of there. So we got the auger ordered gestured, I think. So when it comes, we'll try that. My fountain garden looks better now that it's mulched. We had enough mulch for all of them. I still have a pretty amaryllis blooming. Larry's off to Sunday school. He's going to do the Sunday school records. And I'm holding down the fort here at home. We had some people have COVID at church last week, so I'm staying away from well, they won't be there, but, you know, somebody else could have it. And daisies are looking pretty. Since it's Sunday, we've been listening to some sermons. I watched the one from our local church earlier, and now we've got the one on from North Carolina. He's talking about focus on faith. It won't be long till we'll be up there in person, hopefully. Charles Spurgeon once wrote, A little faith will bring you to heaven. But a great faith will bring heaven to your soul. Well, it's Sunday evening and time to end my video. It's been a nice, peaceful day. I'm hoping that might be another rain cloud up there. My birthday's in just four days. I'm gonna be another year older. Well, hope you had a good day too. Good night, God bless.